Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Kaku Collective, and we are bringing you another BJJ rolling breakdown. This is featuring a brown belt from the ZR team. I just want to talk a little bit about why I enjoy rolling with uh, some of the women, purple, brown, and black belts. And that's because as a light feather, I'm in the 141 weight class, and there's not a lot of guys who train at the gym who are in this weight class. So rolling with the women is actually closer to my body, uh, body size, and also, the way they play their jujitsu game is very similar to some of the guys that I will be competing against at the 141 weight class. And that is why I enjoy rolling with um, uh, some of the women at our at our gym, because I get looks that prepare me for guys who are going to be in my weight class. Um, what I found is that as uh, if you're a smaller person, you tend to be a little more technical. Uh, I'm not saying that that's true 100% of the time, but a lot of the time you tend to be more technical because you are a smaller person, and that's the type of training I need because the 141 weight class is very, very quick, very, very technical, and that is what I get with rolling with some of these uh, ZR team women. So now that that's out of the way, let us get into the rolling breakdown. So here I'm gonna get two hands on her lapel and I'm going to sit to half guard, take my left hand, dive under her leg and set up the deep half position, roll onto, roll her onto her back and get the over under position here. As you can see, I'm holding that leg and I'm keeping my weight nice and heavy. I'm gonna step my right leg over, get into the side control position. Now here is a position uh, that I favor a lot and I, what helps me get a lot of pressure is feeding that lapel to my left hand under her arm and under her head. And I, what I'm going to do is I want to pull that arm to my knees and just make a very, very tight uh, grip here. Uh, a very dominant controlling position, which is at light featherweight is something that I need to do to keep people um, nice and tight and stop them from moving. So here I'm working on my knee on belly, getting the knee to cross over her leg. Uh, we're going to spin here in a second and you're going to see that I've got my knee past her, past her leg that she's trying to use to keep the frame and I've set up the knee on belly position. Now what I'm trying to do, which you can't really see, is I'm trying to set up the bravo choke. So I'm passing that lapel over uh, under her head, sorry, and uh, trying to set up the choke here. She does a good job of turning to her side and forcing my knee off her belly. She's in uh, basically a turtle position. I'm in a turtle position. I'm realizing I'm not going to get the choke from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to walk over. She does a good job of switching her hips, but I smash pass uh, by using that momentum and taking her legs to the other side. Here, I'm trying to set up the knee on belly once again, and I'm having a hard time of controlling that leg. She's got a very, very good guard. So here I'm able to pass into side control and I'm trying to feed that lapel uh, under her arm uh, again and uh, to the back of her head just to control the position here. So here I'm still trying to work with that lapel, trying to get it under her head, but she's giving me a lot of problems with her legs. Very good uh guard retention here. So I'm able to get the knee on belly position and I'm trying to force that lapel under her head, but she's able to get my knee off and get the under hook. So I have to switch to a north south position here. And uh, what I'm going to try to do now is just tighten up my position. I'm very, very loose. I'm very far away from her head. I'm able to get my right arm to snake under her uh, right arm and I'm able to set up the north south uh, Kimura position, but what I'm really working here are arm bars back to the basics like I said So I'm going to get into the S mount I'm going to take my right leg over the top and while we roll back I'm able to pry the arm free and get the tap. So here we're going to reset uh, Good game slap bump. We're gonna to stand to reset our position and I'm realizing that my belt isn't tied I'm not gonna tie it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that belt away uh, and then we're gonna slap bump, reset, and go again. So here, we're grip fighting. Um, she's gonna to sit to guard. I'm gonna quickly try to pass it. I'm not able to do it. Her guard retention is too quick. Here she snakes and grabs my leg for the knee bar. I immediately base down to stop her from prying that knee. And uh, here, she's trying to get it, and then the timer goes off. Slap bump one more time, and that is the end of the round. So that is the end of the breakdown video. I know it is a short one, but I am going to be bringing more to the channel. I'm definitely gonna have more roles with some black belts, brown belts, purple belts, blue belts, white belts, all spectrums of the jujitsu rainbow. And I actually also 
updated my camera equipment i got an anamorphic lens for my iphone so hopefully the footage will be better so we won't be rolling off screen and stuff like that i'm trying to bring quality content to the channel so if you guys liked it please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos leave a like for the video and also comment in the comment section like i said and like i will always say i'm always trying to improve so any criticism that you have anything you can see that i can do better tightening up position please let me know i'm always trying to improve get that one percent better every day and ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the video thanks for watching peace